Okay guys, so we are doing a monthly favorites today and I was hesitant in doing this because I thought it would be very, very repetitive to my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, also to my Beautylish gift card event uh, recommendations. And so I actually asked um, you guys on Instagram, you know, would you still be interested in a favorites this month? And um, I got a really good reply saying like, you know, sure, if there are some things that maybe didn't appear in either of those videos. And I thought, yes, definitely. There are plenty of things that I have been <laughs> loving this past month that uh, did not appear in either of those videos. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. But I just wanted to mention that when I do favorite what I like to do is just to try and film myself putting on those favorites for you. And so when I can, I'll do like a split screen so you can see the products in action. So I usually kind of go by category in the order that I put products on, but again, I don't want to be repetitive. So I'm not going to mention anything um, that I mentioned in the Sephora or the Beautylish gift card event videos. But so let's go ahead and jump into the other products that I didn't mention in those videos. So the first thing I want to mention is this Dior blush. I'm, I kind of don't know why I didn't mention this in my Sephora video um, but this is the one uh, color number 823 I believe it's a limited edition and came out with their fall collection so this is the one that's basically a contour at least that's how I use it so I just grabbed um, a Sonia G fan brush I just focus that where I want to contour sometimes I'll run it you know any kind of leftover product that I have on the brush I'll run it down the sides of my nose but I just kind of lightly dust it around the perimeter of my forehead um, below my cheekbones and that's about it this is a pretty Pretty pigmented powder but it does blend really really nicely and that's what I really enjoy about this particular contour because you know when it comes to contouring I don't want anything too stark and so if it doesn't blend out nicely it's a contour I'm not going to use so I've really been enjoying this one I've been you know kind of contouring here and there and whenever I think to do it I've been reaching for this guy so that's the Dior Rouge blush in 823 independent and then I just want to mention the Chanel holiday collection I, I really love all of the pieces in here and I have the highlighter on today. I really like them all. I was gonna say that this is probably like the standout product in the collection for me. It's it's what I've been reaching for the most, but uh, that's not to say I like this product the most out of everything, but it is definitely the one that I've been reaching for the most. I've been testing so many eyeshadows that I haven't been able to go back to the eyeshadows in this collection very often, but let me just show you the highlighter. So that is the highlighter and this is in shade metal peach and you can see I've already kind of like worn away the center of this design here and again that is what I have on my cheeks right here and I just love it it is subtle but reflective enough I mean you obviously have like highlighter on um, the color is great it has just such a nice uh, warm peachiness to it the texture is wonderful it's very soft and velvety look at that sheen it's really beautiful let me swatch that right here isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh i just love it. it 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 has just enough warmth in it for me where it doesn't look too icy on my cheeks it blends beautifully i find that i have like a little trouble picking up the product on my brush so i go in with like a Sonia G fan brush or basically a natural haired brush that I know will pick up the product nicely and I'll just kind of swirl it all around the pan and then I find that I'm picking up plenty of product but I can't just kind of dip in I feel like I don't really pick up much when I just kind of like tap 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 I kind of have to like go in there I don't if you guys have this let me know down below if that's been your experience or maybe I just like a lot of highlight I don't know <laughs> but that's been my experience and I wanted to share that with you um, but that is the metal peach highlighter from Chanel which I've been absolutely loving. And then there were some eyeshadows that are part of this collection, which are just beautiful. I don't have the eyeshadow on today because I have another product I want to talk about, but here is the quad that was part of this holiday collection. Just a very, very sophisticated, very elegant kind of color story. And this pairs really beautifully with the lip colors that they came out with. I only have two of them, which I'll show you in just a bit, but the lip colors are very bold and red, and I just think they look beautiful with these more subdued eyeshadows. Uh, let me go ahead and swatch these. And these have a really creamy texture also. So those are the four. And every shade in here is a shimmer shade, as you can tell. And they're all basically the same kind of formula. Oops, that one was a little close, but those are the four eyeshadow shades. 
really just stunning. I mean, you really just get such a sophisticated look and you can really build up like these two colors and get like a really nice, like smoky look. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So that's the quad. And then there were two singles. Now these two singles are like almost, they feel like almost like a cream to powder. These are the Ombre Premier, oh, creamy powder eyeshadow. So this is color number 58, Poupre Brun. So this is number 58. Go ahead and do a swatch here. Oh, it's so creamy and look at that pigmentation. So there's a little bit of a sheen to it, but the sheen I feel like is more part of the actual texture of it versus having metallic bits in there. It's really just a sheen because of how creamy it is. And then the other single shadow is this gorgeous gold color. It's color number 56. Let me go ahead and swatch this also. <gasps> Look at that gold, just perfect. Oh my God, isn't that amazing? So you can like pair this with one of the shades in here just to kind of make it a little bit more festive, if you will. So it's really nice for the holidays. And this one just adds like a nice bit of drama to these, but I really like this quad for a more subdued look. And I like kind of focusing on these for a little bit more drama. So just a really great collection. Everything I feel like just works really well together. And then, like I mentioned, I got two of the lip colors, color number 807 in the Rouge Allure formula. So there is limited edition packaging. It has like the gold framing there, really gorgeous and these are the ones that you press down and it pops up and then you pull the lipstick out so this one is 807 that's number 807 a really pretty like rosy pink and the color that I just love this is 857 and it's this deep rich red is that color isn't that stunning and I have a different lip product on today, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but otherwise I was gonna put this color on. All right, and just a couple more Chanel products that were actually part of their fall collection. You know, honestly, I forgot about it. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect for this time of year. So this was their um, Ombre Premier top coat in the color Carte Blanche 317. And it just looks like, kind of like a white flaky shadow in the pan. But what it gives you is this kind of like, pearly glisten so it's become like my favorite top coat can you can you see that it's sheer and so you can just kind of like tap it over other shadows and it just makes it like like foily and silvery just i don't know like almost like an icicle effect it's so so pretty and it's something that i find surprising after looking at this i thought it was just kind of be like a, a metallic white shadow but it really is well actually like the name would suggest it really is like a top coat it's just really really beautiful so I've been enjoying this like just kind of like tapping it on over other eyeshadows just to kind of add a little bit of something and then the last thing from Chanel I want to mention is and I, I feel like I just mentioned this was it in a favorite oh no, no no I did a um like favorite fall lips like a top 10 and I talked about this Chanel uh gloss so this is number 816 and yes it looks black in the tube but that is the color and it just looks so nice on its own a lot of black uh like glosses i have are a little bit less opaque than this so i like them as toppers i like to use them to like kind of cool down or neutralize other lip colors but this by itself is really nice you get like a really you know, like fairly dramatic kind of like lip look, but because it's a gloss, it's not that strong. It's not that stark. It's not that polarizing. You know, people aren't just gonna be like staring at your lips. It's a little bit easier to wear than like a lipstick, say a lipstick this color. So I've really been liking this, you know, for like the fall, the cooler weather, all that stuff. I've just been loving this gloss. I believe these are limited edition, but I think they're still available on the Chanel site. So of course, as usual, I'll link to everything down below in my description box, um, but I think they are still available there. And then I did also want to mention the Clay de Peau limited edition holiday 2019 um, their refining press powder. This is uh, their limited edition powder and they come out with one, I believe every holiday season. I have last year's and I had to get this year's. This is in color 101 Blooming Cherry. And I just made a clay de peau video talking about the holiday products and I won't bore you too much with this, but it just leaves your skin looking so smooth, filtered. It makes everything look softer. It just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. And there is a little bit of like, peachy tinge to it. I don't think I see it that much on my skin. You know, it's a powder, so as long as I don't put too much on, I don't feel like it changes uh, the color of my foundation. 
um, but I did want to mention that in case you were interested in this. So that's the limited edition refining pressed powder from Clay de Poe, and it's their holiday 2019. Isn't that packaging beautiful? And then I may have mentioned this in my last month's favorites, I'm not sure, but this is the Private Society Glow Getter Highlighter Palette. I held off getting this. I saw Scott Barnes use this on Tati, and he says, you know, he uses this on JLo, all of his clients. And I'm not the biggest fan of like palettes with one product, like huge blush palettes or huge like bronzer contour palettes or huge highlighter palettes. I just feel like they're more meant for like makeup artists who can use all the different tones. But he pretty much, and that's Scott Barnes, he pretty much like swept his brush through the whole thing and put it on Tati and of course it looked beautiful. So anyway, one late night when I was bored and I was kind of just cruising online, I was like, ah, oh, let me get this palette. I've been meaning to, just haven't, and I love it. I love it. I'll focus like my brush on this half. If I want like a lighter highlight, I'll focus my brush on this half. If I want to kind of like um, highlight my bronzer area and I'll just sort of sweep my brush over the whole thing like he does if I just want to kind of just add a little bit of something to my face. But it is so, so beautiful. Let me swatch some of my favorites. So Trophy Wife is definitely one of my favorites. These powders are so soft. They're almost like a cream to powder. That is Trophy Wife. I also love Candyland, which is this guy down here. That's Candyland. And then Pink Haze. If I had to pick like individuals, these are the three that I would go for. I mean, these are just really, really beautiful, like foily kind of highlighters. So this is Trophy Wife. Candyland and Pink Haze. Absolutely love this palette. It's just been sitting out on my vanity and whenever I just want to add a little something to my complexion, I just go in there, again, big fluffy brush and I just kind of brush it all over. All right, let's talk about what's on my eyes. So um, I don't know why I don't talk about this product more often, but I love, love, love these duos from Shantakai. So this one is Tibet, and this is probably the most recent one that I purchased, but I have Grand Canal and I have Kenya, and I love this Tibet. This one is like neutral, kind of cool leaning, and that is what I have on my eyes today. So I have the lighter shade um, on the inner portion of my lid, and then I have the darker shade on the outer portion of my lid, and that's it. It's like the world's easiest eye look. Obviously we've got no mattes going on. And then all I did was take like a clean blending brush, like this brush from uh, Isom, the G34. And I just kind of like swept the top out just so it wasn't quite as stark as it was when I applied the shadows, just to kind of blend it out a little bit. Um, but I just love these shadows. I mean, look at how metallic and wet they are. Just absolutely stunning and like perfect, perfect for the holiday season. So this happens to be my favorite color story of theirs at the moment, but I do also really like Grand Canal. That one has like a little bit more, like the darker color has a little bit more of like a greenish blue to it. But I just feel like this would probably look good on just about any skin tone. It's just stunning. And the shine that you get is unbelievable. My only complaint about these is that this like little button here, like just doesn't work. So this like doesn't, it doesn't like actually close shut. So that's my only complaint about it is this packaging. Oh, did I even swatch these for you? Here's some swatches. Aren't those stunning? Absolutely stunning. And then the last eye thing I wanna mention is this Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in mink. This is so, so pretty. Now these are kind of like those potted cream eyeshadows. They kind of remind me of the Hourglass Scattered Lights. Um, the Marc Jacobs ones, which I don't actually have, but I've played with in store quite a bit. Um, but this is what it looks like. This color in particular, I, hmm, is, is just amazing. So there is mink. And I think if you use too much of this shadow, like you kind of dig your brush in or you dig your finger in, is just, it's way too crumbly. But if you just, like, I just kind of like tapped and like wiggled my finger in there a bit. That's all you need. And then you can just kind of like spread the pigment around. It ends up like working really well without the kind of crumbly fallout that you'll get if you pick up too much product. It has like micro glitters in there, but it just has this beautiful like burnt taupe kind of base. 
Oh my God, I'm so in love with this color. And I'll either use my finger and just kind of go in there and then like tap it on my lid, like I said, and then I'll use a brush to kind of like spread the pigment around, or I'll just go in with a brush and then do the same thing. Just kind of depends what mood I'm in. Um, but that is the Lid Luster. And then last but not least, let's talk about what's on my lips. And I have the Christian Audette Mel Thompson collab on my lips. I have Beauty, this lipstick, on my lips. And I have her um, Smooches lip liner lining my lips. Where did that go? Oh, here it is. So here is Smooches, the lip liner. So let me swatch this. And Smooches is the darker one of the two. And then here is Beauty swatched. So obviously the Beauty is a bit lighter than the Smooches, but I like a deeper lip liner just to kind of give me a little contour. I'll kind of like fill in my lips a little bit and then I'll put the lipstick on top and kind of just like mash it all together. And I feel like that works out best for me. But the other lip liner that comes in this kit is the, is this Kitten? Yes, Kitten. And this one is like a closer match to Beauty. So this is great if you want a matchy matchy kind of like lip liner lipstick. And then the other lipstick color that comes in this set is Puffin. And it's this like, just like neon red orange. It is fantastic. Look at that. So I've been wearing this one more just because this one is so bright and so loud. Um, so I've been wearing the beauty one uh, more and it really, she calls this her perfect nude. It really is like the perfect nude. I just, I absolutely love it. And the formula is great. It goes on really, really smoothly. Very, very pigmented. It lasts a pretty long time, longer than you think for a cream lipstick. And I'm just, I'm just loving them. They have like a faint, you know, vanilla e smell, nothing overpowering, which is my preference. And I've just been reaching for it over and over when I'm looking for a nude. So I'm loving it. And her candle is on pre-order on the Christian Audette site. So it is available now. I don't think that they were originally gonna sell it, but it is available now. And when I hauled this in my last haul video, I called this a fox, but it's not, it's a red panda. I'm sorry, Mel. I know how much you like red pandas. I don't know why I called it a fox. So that is a red panda on the front. And it just has this really like interesting smell. It's almost like, um, I don't know, I kind of smell like toasted marshmallow in there. There's almost like a smoky, a smoky sweet smell. It's so interesting. I really enjoy it. So this is available for pre-order and Mel Thompson and Christian Audette were kind enough in sending me all of these pieces. So thank you so much for sharing your gorgeous collection with me. I absolutely love it and I cannot stop reaching for this beauty shade. Okay, that is it for my favorites. That was like such a weird one to do because there were ones I wanted to mention and I was like, nope, I talked about that in the Sephora video. Nope, I talked about that in the Beautylish video. So again, I will link to those videos down below and don't forget those videos are very long. So definitely check out the description box if you wanna jump around and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and let me know what some of your favorites are down below in the comment section. I always love hearing from you guys and you guys always, always give me the best recommendations. I appreciate it so much. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.